after a Delhi court extended the judicial custody of PRS leader K. Kavita till April 23 in the alleged excise policy scam case. Now, the leader has written a four-page letter to the court calling the probe by the central agencies as witch hunt. She has called herself a victim and has claimed that her personal and political reputation have been targeted in the letter. She has also called the probe by CBI and ED as a media trial. And she's also claimed that the Enforcement Directorate has mentally and physically tortured her. However, Kavita has asserted that she has no involvement in the case and that she will hand over all the mobile phones which the ED claims that she has destroyed. In fact, earlier as well, the court didn't give K. Kavita the permission to make an address and said that she could give her requests in written form. So absolutely. So first let me tell you, before this letter has come out, K. Kavita's counsel today requested the court that please allow K. Kavita to address this court in person. There are some statements which you would like to make and hence allow her. However, the court today refused that permission and the court stated whatever you have to say, please give it in writing. K. Kavita has engaged counsels over here. So whatever she has to speak, she can speak through her counsels. There is no need of K. Kavita addressing the court in person. However, this letter... Uh, letter got surfaced. In this letter, uh, K. Kavita states that this is all a witch hunt. I'm, I'm, I, this is all a media trial for the ED, for the CBI, for the central government agencies for the past 2.5 years. I'm, I'm, I am being harassed. I am being tortured by all these agencies for the past 2.5 years. There is absolutely nothing. This is a fabricated case. And as we could see in the visual, she is seen telling that CBI has recorded her statements. And on the question asked to her that what questions did CBI put, uh, put to her, she stated that all the same questions which are surfacing from the past 2.5 years, they are still doing. In letter, she also states that I will provide all the mobile phones which ED alleges that have been dis destroyed by me. I will provide all these uh, mobile phones. I have provided all the bank details. There is nothing more. Whatever I had to the best of my knowledge, I have provided it to them.